Hello everyone, and welcome! Today I'm going to be talking about the finale of the Lotus War Trilogy. But before that, I guess we'll uh, get on to a sort of a recap, so... You know, for those of you who haven't seen my other videos on the first two novels in this, and don't really want to watch those videos, then, well... Here we go. The trilogy starts out with the... <clears throat> the... Emperor Evil McEvilly Evilo Von Evilstein, I mean, or, aka Emperor Yoritomo, as one day, in, while he's um, his whole empire is waging war on the Gaijin and trying to like take over and stuff, as well as um, his uh, the Lotus Guild are, you know, doing their whole thing with making all the steampunk shit that's causing the whole. All, sorts of horrible ecological destruction to the environment. The Emperor decides that he wants to be the be a storm dancer. More specific, and in order to do the to do that he needs a storm tiger, which is basically a a griffin, but instead of lion parts it's a tiger. And um so he dispatches his uh several hunters in a cr small cr ship with a small crew to go out and, and uh, you know, look for it. Of course, everything goes completely tits up and the whole thing crashes and um, our main lead, Yukiko, is uh, separated from the rest of the crew who then um, will probably go, you know, return in failure and are either imprisoned or executed because Again, the Emperor is an uh, evil jerkwad, and eventually she um, becomes friends with a Thunder Tiger named Buru and a member of the Lotus Guild named Kin, and <clears throat> eventually they uh, come across this other group of rebels known as the Kage, and they, um, you know, basically just eventually, like, become friends with the Kage, and, um, yeah, eventually she heads back to the palace where she's uh, where she meets up with the emperor, and um, and you know of course things don't go well, and spoilers the bad guy dies. Yeah, I know it's I guess you could say it's kind of a spoiler since it's the first book, but you know not really much. But uh, yeah, any and um, it's not really much of a happy ending, even like the sort of immediate happiness ending like in, say, the first Star Wars movie with, I mean, you know, um, A New Hope. It's just, um, yeah, because, you know, when the Emperor dies, it created a massive, like, power vacuum and thus caused the whole place to, like, go to near civil war and stuff, but, um, anyway, that's all in the next book, uh, Kinslayer. Then, um, you know, in that first book, Storm Dancer, next book, uh, Kinslayer, and the, the whole, and essentially it's like, um, of course, you're, you're, there everyone's going in, like, the whole uh, shockwaves of the Emperor dying is, you know, going on. The whole place is just sort of, you know, spiraling towards civil war, but there is some hope. The Emperor's sister is still alive, and they're kind of wondering, like, maybe if we get, like, this uh, samurai that Yukiko's been sort of crushing on in the first book to uh, marry them, then she'll have uh, her, her own son or daughter, and then the line will continue, and yeah. And, of course, you know, and this, because, you know, there's a third book, you know, of course, that this plan goes completely tits up as well. In addition to this, there's also the reason why uh, Buru is called the Kinslayer. I'm sure you can figure out why. And um, there's there's this uh, Gaijin army, the I, the people that we eventually learn are called the Morkab Morkabai or Morkabens or whatever. I'm probably mispronouncing it either way. And they're heading over to the heading over to the you know start an invasion of their own because of well <clears throat> you know they can't they've been trying to they have, the people in the Shima Isles have been 
or at least their army have been trying to take over Morkvai and slaughtering massive amounts of their women and children so you know of course that was gonna happen and <clears throat> and now we eventually sort of get here where the whole empire is just sort of in um, is now basically embroiled in civil war the Gaijin fleet invades and they make it here and in addition to that there's also this whole other thing that I forgot to mention in the first two books because it just sort of like in the background of where it's like um, whatever and where the apparently Lady Izanami who's basically the equivalent of Satan in this world is um, you know sends an army of demons to try and destroy everything and yeah <clears throat> Or are they going to stop these Anami from taking over the world? Of course they are. Of course they're gonna. Of course the day is saved. But yeah, a lot of people die in this. Like a lot of good people, a lot of major, a lot of good guys, a lot of major characters. You know, um, yeah. And um, I think it's just uh, you know, like initially when I came across this. You know, the first book, I was just thinking, like, oh, it has, um, like, steampunk power armor samurai, which got me interested. But I just kept on staying and kept reading because, you know, I just found all the characters to be, and story to be really interesting and cool. And then, of course, there's the further added bonus of the, the again, the just awesomeness of steampunk power armor samurai with chain katanas. You know, running around, and one of them being a steampunk cyborg, or becoming one anyway, <clears throat> and that just makes everything all the more just cool. So, yeah, um, cool, it's neat uh, steam Japanese steampunky goodness to draw you in, and you know, uh, fantastic uh, characters to, and drama and stuff to keep you reading. I would say that this is definitely a fantastic book, uh, no, a fantastic trilogy of books that I would definitely recommend reading. Oh, that is why I would give this, as you just saw, or a my personal recommendation rating of a five out of five. Definite recommendation. It is definitely this whole trilogy is definitely worth your time it's definitely just a fantastic read it has an interesting world with like maps and uh, you know different index whatever on like terminology and um, uh, yeah just uh, go out and just go check it out it's fantastic you know the cool steampunk power armor samurai will draw you in and everything else will get you to stay just yeah anyway um until next time i'm gonna do something that i don't really do that often at least not intentionally i'm going to be talking about what is in my opinion the worst book i have ever read in my life ever yes until then, see you later, and please support your local libraries by going out and, you know, support them with your local, with your books and with your donation, patronage money, and so on and so forth. And if you have your own recommendations, then please leave so in uh, the comment section or whatever. Until then, oh, and, uh, well, have a nice day.